I made an executive decision in regarding to Itter Roberto. Let's get into it, my dudes. Before we get into today's episode, why don't you go ahead and leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below. Today's episode, we're playing against Kang Wan in the Honda Bank FA Cup fourth round. We're the defending champions of it. Hopefully we can continue winning in it today. Oh yeah, I hung up. Uh, can't really see the Orlando kit. It's hanging up behind me and then I got the Darby County. It's the best I can do. It's, it's, it's the best. I'm happy to have some kits up behind me though. I do wish I could get something on this wall right here, but there's nothing for me to hang it on, unfortunately. Maybe I could put up like a, a coat rack back there and have one hanging. That would be pretty, pretty nice. But yeah, we're going up against Kang won in the Honda Bank FA Cup fourth round. Then we got the Blue Wings. After that, we, we've not looked the best in the world. Changed up the tactic. And uh, as you can see, we scored some goals. Except for in the John Book match. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't do nothing in that match. Uh, we drew against Honda Citizen 3-3. And this one was disappointing. Kind of in the same sense of the Shane Dong Haishin match where we came out firing on all cylinders and then just let him come back in the second half. Very disappointed in that one. Uh, up then after that, we, we put a lot of goals on Kang Won. Ivan Marin gets a hat trick. Jung, Kim Sung Ho, and Kite all getting goals as well. Then we, uh, like I said, we lost to John Book and I Park. We lost to them two to three. Son had an absolute terrible man. two three on that one. Kim Sung Ho and Jung is what getting goals in that one. Then we went out and beat FC Seoul two one. We went back to our. Uh, Counterattacking system, Kim Sung Ho and Ivan Marin getting goals in this match. So it was nice to uh, get back in the winning ways, but we got a tough one today against King of One. One of our teams that we've actually struggled with, I know we beat them earlier right here, but we, we've just typically struggled against them coming up in the FA Cup. So should be fun. Blue Wings should be fun. Don't know where they're sitting at in the league right now. They are sitting right outside of that top four slots. So they're in fifth. They're wanting to get a win and jump up into that, that Asian League qualification. That's what they're wanting. But transfer windows open. We've done a lot of stuff. Done a lot of stuff. Uh, and some stuff still to happen. Still that's still going to happen. I just hadn't done it yet. As you can see, I have lowered the payroll budget. We're currently sending spending four thousand or four million six hundred and fourteen thousand. And that's that's pretty good. But it, as you can see, we we might be spending around four million eight hundred which I would theoretically like to get a little bit lower than that anyways. I would I would really like around that 4.6 million. That would be ideal. And there's a reason for that that we'll discuss in a second. But I want to go over the players that are leaving the club, that have left the club. A big name has left the club. It's, it's a really big name. It's Park G-Min. No, no, he's still there. I'm looking at the wrong side. It's Young Tejo. It's not him either. It's Eddie Roberto. We still let him go. He's going to John Book. He's going to one of our rivals. For 600 k but it releases so much money off the wages. We just paying him 400000 a year. They're paying him 610000 His contract was running up. Uh, as I said, he's an older player. Uh, the only thing I like about him really is he's, he's a good player and he's South Korean. But we did capitalize on him. We didn't plan on re-signing him, so we did get what we could from him. And then we've done some other business. Some other business has been done. This guy, I mean, this is kind of some random guys really... Not really going to go over all of them. See if we see any more. Choi Sung, a player that's been on the first team, he went to Inchin for 115000 That's good news. Good about that. Happy about that. We do have some other people leaving, hopefully. Uh, Ho Jin leaving. And then Park Young Ki. He's a striker option. that we have. But as you can see, I've got a guy here that I've offered a pre-contract to. I didn't pay for a transfer fee. I mean, there might be a little bit of a... There, it, it, but I'm pre-contract. Shouldn't be spending any money on him to come get him in. Uh, it's Carlos Gutierrez. And you might be thinking, hey, we got we got three foreign players. Or, that, that, yeah, I do. One of them's alone. One of them's leaving. His contract ends tomorrow. We're uh, in the middle of, of, sorry, let me put that over there so it doesn't keep vibrating on the desk. We're in the middle of a transfer window, so maybe we can cancel the Jimmy Payne loan. If not, we'll loan out Gutierrez. To somebody and I can I cannot terminate his loan which is a bit of a kick in the nuts it is but um yeah so we're trying to bring him in on free 
See if he wants to come join us. It would be nice. He's he's definitely. I know you're thinking he's two and a half star. He's not great. Well, he plays on the left hand side. He's two and a half star. He's only 21 years old. He's Spanish. So if he can develop into any type of player, any kind of talent, any maybe we can sell him for a little bit of money. He has four star potential. He does have a lot of stuff over here, but most of this stuff is related to the eligibility. And and I'm not really really worried about that. He's a fairly consistent performer. I think he'll I think he'll do pretty good for us. Hopefully we can get him in. That would be the best thing for the club. Trying to get some of these younger guys in that we can develop on a cheaper contract and then sell him. As you can see, his contract's not really that bad either. It's 218. He would be pretty high up the list, but it's not four hundred thousand like we were spending on on um Ed Roberto. So I'm, I'm kind of happy about that. It, it does clear up a spot that we really need help on. We really need help on that left-hand side. Just the whole way down. The whole way down needs to be revamped. It's 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 a struggle on that side for us. And maybe if we can bring in Carlos Gutierrez, we can get that solved. I might have to unregister Jimmy Payne, which I'm sure the, the, the Red Bulls would absolutely love me for that. Can I unregister him? I mean, I can. I can. <laughs> I may have to end up doing that. It just depends. I, like I said, I might actually try loaning out Gutierrez when he comes to the club. I don't. I don't know how to handle the situation. We've got enough right hand players though that we really don't need Jimmy Payne. I like Jimmy. Like Jimmy's a good player. I think he would be a really good player for us in the future. But he's, he's, he just hasn't been consistent for us. He's been banged up too much. And and Gutierrez brings in a role that we need solved this year. This time to get into the matches. Kang won up first. Hadn't picked the side because I. I didn't really want to do it yet. I'm kind of thinking about doing a little bit of squad rotation in this match. I'm thinking about it. Thinking about playing Kang up top. Let's do that right off the bat. Uh, a little bit of other note. Shim J Min, two-star two player, four-star potential. 17-year-old kid brought him up from the reserve side. I think that's the only player I've brought up. Kite's going to start there. Like I said, we're going to do a little bit of squad rotation. Not, not a ton, but definitely... I was thinking about playing Jimmy Payne on the left-hand side. I'm going to do it. I don't see a point in not doing it. And then, where's that other guy that I like? I'm not going to play. I am going to play him. I want to give him a break. He's played a lot of minutes. You know, theoretically, we could play Jay. Kim Sung Jay. For Kim, I think that's what I'll actually do. Just to kind of get some of these. Hey, he's transfer listed. Maybe if he has a good match. Maybe it's going to be terrible and I shouldn't make all these changes. That's what you guys are telling me in the chat right now. Rack, why are you making so many changes? You know you are terrible when you do this. Uh, doing it. I've been married to coming off. I'm just letting him take a rep break. I think this is the side we're going to put out there today. I need to change that back to positive. We're going to have Son in goal back for J1. Sam, Lee Soon Hock, and Han Bin. In the midfield, we got Kim Song J, Kim Chan So, Park Ji Min, and Payne. Number 10, Kite. Up top, it is Kang. Kang hadn't had it going this year. We need to get him going. He is, he is definitely, definitely been a letdown this season. And it's mainly due to the injury. He's, he's not been able to be healthy, not been able to play. So, not really on him. He went in this one comfortably. Let's, let's, let's do this. All right, form's not been the best. Sam rocking that mustache. I mean, that's a, a nice look, dude. I would rock it. Playing at home, that's a good good thing for us. Hey, we were scoring goals, man, when I was playing that uh, control possession tactic. I'd move the wingers up, and we was bombing them, brother. We was going at it. We just couldn't cover for shit. Old saying men there. That was... Oh, saying men. I need to get a stop here. I want to. I don't want to get an early an early deficit. That's that would not be what we want. Kim Sung Jae does a good job just to push it back. Kite is going to chase it down. Kite is probably our most consistent person on in training. Dude's always putting out top three performances. I know he's only a three star potential, but I kind of feel like there's a little bit more with him with that with him doing as well in training. I feel like our staff might be doing a little bit of hard on him. Jimmy Payne, third goal of the season. Didn't see who was on the assist, but it puts us up 1-0 early on in the on a bank fourth round. Good stuff. I don't know what the club wants us to finish in this. 
I almost hit skip. It's just it's a it's a thing that I do. I, when I play a couple matches, just don't watch the goal sometimes, and I go ahead and hit skip. Didn't do it though. I wanted you guys to see it. Good stuff there. Good stuff by Jimmy Payne. I'm not thinking about uh, unregistering you. No, I'm not. I promise. Maybe I am. I don't know that. Kim Chen, so J1. I mean, like, I think ideally what I would like to do, Kane gets his third of the season, by the way. Jimmy Payne. Jimmy Payne's having a good, good match right now. 2 0. First 12 minutes. But uh, I, I, I think ideally what I would like to do is just loan him out. Like, I think just loan him out for this. For. A short time period, or even just have him training with the. I think he's coming to be a squad player. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know. It's it's definitely a tough one. The issue that we're having with the club, it's like we just we're not attracting the type of talent that we need. That are foreign players, and the ones that we are attracting are in their upper twenties, early thirties, and, and I'm not really here to sign that. I kind of want to sign some younger players that we can sell to help fund the club, which is why we're bringing in Gutierrez. Park G-Men, third goal of the season. We're running away with it. We have finally got over Hang One. They, they was a thorn in our side that first season. Big thorn in our side. Hopefully we can keep it up. Keep it going against this team. They're a good side, even though it doesn't look like it today. Probably the second team that I would have picked in, in South Korea to do a save with this was Kang One. I really like their badge, really like their kits, but I opted for Daegu. Hey, I'm going to drop some praise on the boys. You know, we are playing wonderfully out there. Just, just keep it up, my dudes. Y'all are doing great. Absolutely putting a hurting on Kang One. Kim Chan So taking a set piece to Sam. Almost gets it in. Puts us up almost 4-0. The home fans are loving it. You could just see they was going crazy in the stands. They was almost running out, out there. Just, you know, constant energy. Just look at them back there. Look at them. They are so energetic right now. They're, they cannot believe their side is winning 3-0 right now. I mean, you could honestly say it was probably in shock. At this. Okay, we got a little bit of livelihood now. People are moving. In. It's okay. They're not all, they're not all mannequins that we've just placed out there to make our stadium look like it's cool. Lee Soon Hawk with the ball, over to Park G Men, Ite. Uh huh. Uh huh. Park G Men, fourth goal of the season. Kite's on the assist was he get another? I can't remember Park G. Who needs editor Roberto when you got Park G Men? saying i know what i'm doing yeah he's on a brace now i was i thought he was what was he the guy that scored last i think he was okay we're gonna make some changes uh, i still haven't moved the camera so i'm gonna have to look at Streamlabs to see where the thing is who do we want to put in hang's got a goal he's kind of like unfit so we're gonna put in the other jung just because he hasn't played any and i'm honest dang it i wanted to bring that other guy up that the left wing player, I totally forgot to do it. Shim J Min, the uh, youngster coming in, getting some time, getting some valuable time here, coming on early for us. And of course, as soon as I make two subs, two guys get tired. Three guys. Thanks, guys. You guys are the best. Jimmy Payne is probably going to come off just because maybe I have somebody to play on that side. Oh, do that. Uh, Han being tired, go have a guy that can have that. Left hand side, Brack, you don't have anybody on that side. Kim Chan So, midfield option. The deep line playmaker. Do we have anybody? We got Kim Sung. I mean, Kim Sung Ho can kind of play everywhere. That's one reason why I like him. He's if it's anywhere in this general vicinity, he can he can play. As long as it's not center back or I mean, you could probably say he could play striker if we chain, trained him there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Just inches wide. It said so down there at the bottom. This is lovely stuff. Lovely stuff out here with the, with the squad today. Especially after the run of form we've been on lately. Uh, Shim, Shim J-Min. I'm just going to call him Shim because that's... He's the only Shim we got. Jung, Jung doesn't chase that down. Not, not the good Jung. The other Jung. Might ought to change his name to the other Jung. Park G-Min brings us down. Uh, Kim Sung-Ho. He's looked really good of late as well. Payne now. Having an excellent match. Can he continue it here? He plays back to Park G-Men. Jimmy Payne with it again. Jimmy Payne crosses it again. He's trying to find the other John. Can't find him. Park g -Men. It's bouncing around. Jimmy Payne brings it down. He gets a brace. It's his fourth goal of the season. Park G-Men is on the assist. I've counted. Five. Five nil. 
There we go. Three minutes of added time. Hey, if you guys want to go get a drink, you know, go get some popcorn for the second match. Now's the time to do it. I might go do it myself. I actually, I have to say, I'm not going to do that. Okay, here we go. Good job, guys. Good job. That was a good win for the squad. Uh, Jimmy Payne. Jimmy Payne, 9.4, best performer overall. Outstretched arms. Very pleased with your performance and the way you played. Let's see what we got saying here. All right, come on. Bring it on. This guy right there, uh, he looks extremely happy. Who, who are you? Who are you? You've got to play for okay. He plays for Kane. Who what what has we just what have we just went into? Okay, so let's see. Who do we have on here that's, that was happy? I mean everybody was happy. We didn't have nobody that was upset like the last guy. One guy in the last match, last episode, he was he was disappointed. Gutierrez. Going in the side. When does he come in? Like his contract ends tomorrow, don't it? He's coming in soon. Oh, ho, 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 ho. we got some controversy. Carlos Gutierrez is joining the club. We win the fourth round. Get eight hundred and sixty-four dollars. Carry it straight to the bank. Not really going to help. All right, we're going to praise Jimmy Payne. Hey, you've done a great job, my dude. Apparently, one of our guys would. I think we need to fire Kim J. Man because uh. I wouldn't swap him for anybody, not even Stephen Blanchard. If that's the case, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> I apologize, but uh, Kim, my dude, that's don't don't say that again. Well, I thought of a solution to our problem, only it didn't really draw any interest. So therefore, we still have a problem of having too many foreign players. Uh, red. Thought we might could get some moolah for Red. Well, he's a little bit injured right now, so he's out for seven days. No interest has came into him yet. Um, he's valued at like seven hundred thousand, and he's one of our top earners in terms of money. So I wouldn't mind moving on from him. He's twenty nine years old. I don't think he's. I don't think he's going to get any better than what he is. I think it's just it's just what he is. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's that's the player that we bought. We we didn't buy. That's the player we signed. That's the player he's going to be until he leaves the club. It's not going to get any better. But I uh, did realize that we can change our registration till I think, the end of July. I think it was July 22nd. But right now, Red is un unregistered, unregistered because of his injury. He's out for seven days, six days. So I think what we could potentially do up until July is, uh, the end of July, is we can kind of just do a little bit of rotation on, on players registering, registering the foreign players. Uh, I think that's what we're going to do. Because Gutierrez is in the starting lineup in his first first couple of days here. He came in, three-star player, four-star potential. I'm really excited about him. I think he's going to be a good player. He can play anywhere on that left-hand side. He's going to be a, a left, left back for us, mainly. He can do it. He's a decent. He can do it pretty good. He's, uh, he's quick for this league. He's got good crossing, uh, good first touch. His marking, his tackling technique, good teamwork, good off the ball. He's got pretty good flair, so he might actually get a goal here and there. Work rate's really good at 14. Uh, pace, like I said, 14. I think he's going to be. I think he. I think he can be a player that we can sell for the future. He's only valued at 89k, which is a little bit surprising. We picked him up from the free, and uh, I, I'm excited to have him into the club. I think he can be definitely somebody that grows with the club and hopefully turn into a really good player. I do kind of want to actually put him on attack. I know. I mean, we we could we could honestly do we do it? Do we? We're going to play him at wing back on attack. I think that's what we kind of that's why we signed him. We wanted him to play a player that we can bomb forward, and um, eventually we can use Kim as the other wing back. And hopefully this offseason we can kind of kind of group up the center backs and get a little bit better at that situation. Because I think that's one of the issues we had after we started doing some different stuff is just the center backs wasn't doing too well. Alongside Son not doing too good, but uh, Son's was probably the best that we're going to be able to get for a time being. One thing um, I think we're going to do is next year when we, Jimmy Payne's contract expires or his loan expires, I don't think I'm going to bring in a third guy. And the reason why is because there's so many good players that's available right now. It's just on free. It's just sitting out there. So I think due to the transfer restrictions that we've imposed on ourselves, that'd be the best thing. Sign a player, sign a foreign player around this time of the year. 
see if we can get somebody to come in and help out at that center back situation because I feel like that's been the biggest issue with this side is the back four. The back four has been very, very hit or miss. Kim is probably the most consistent guy, but we play him on the wing a lot. So I think, I think, I think hey, hey, let's do, let's do it today. We're doing it. See if we want to bring anybody else in. We got Shim on the on the bench. So I'm kind of happy with that. I'm going to bring Kim Young Min in. That I was going to. Kim Young Min's going to come on for Jung. Just because, like, hey, I want to do a little bit of squad rotation. We got Son in goal. We got Kim, Sam, Lee Soon Hawk, and Gutierrez making up the back four. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. Uh, midfield consisting of Payne, Kim Chan So, Park G Min, and Marin. Kim Sung Ho in the number 10. And Kang is playing up top today. Let's get into it. And another thing we could potentially start doing is we could start playing on Ben back in the center back position that we like him in. I'm really excited about Gutierrez. I think he's going to help out the side. I really do. I think he's going to be a good, good, solid player for us. He's going to be supporting that number 19. We got to find out who, who our number who our new number 20 is going to be for next season. I think you're looking at players like Jung and Kim. Really do. I don't know who I want to be our number 20. I think, like, obviously, it's cool to have somebody like Jung as your number 20 just because just because that's the guy you see out there. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the guy you see doing really good for your side. So you want him to be prominent with that number 20. I think when you're talking about just best overall player, I think it's hard not to give it to Kim. He is such a good player for us. And Marin, you have to throw Marin in there. He hasn't really done a ton since joining the club, but he's a good player as well. I think he's got good attributes. We'll put it that way. Hey, the first forty is down, and we've just now getting a highlight, and it is a Blue Wings highlight. Uh uh. I was hoping our bad form would get over with. I was really hoping it was. I mean, I know it's early and we still got some time, but that's a kick right in the nads right there, boys. All right, so we got a set piece coming up here. Kim Chung, Kim, I don't remember which one of the damn, it was one of those Kims. He took the set piece, didn't do anything with it. It's it's a little bit of a counterattack now for the Blue Wings. We're not getting back. And, and it, it's kind of weird because like I don't think Son has played good like of late. Since this bad form's been going, I, I have not been impressed with him. And I noticed Kang has picked up an injury. His season just continues. Jung, the other Jung is coming in. He, no, I mean, like, Jung can score. The other Jung can score at times. We're just not doing anything out there. This is This is bad. I don't know what to tell him. I mean, I know we can do some other stuff, hopefully. Like, get some guys moving forward. Because we're it, it just seems like we're not creating anything offensively. If we get through with this one, I'm going to... It's time to move some of these guys. We're not. Marion's look piss poor out there as well. We're doing a little swap C there. Making our second change. Turning time wasting off. We need to get going. And I'm happy with that. Move the line up a little bit further. We need to get we need to get something going. We haven't the second match has been very disappointing. But as good as we looked in the first one, second one, mm, not so much. Sam does a good job paying with the ball now. Maybe we can get something going. He swapped sides. He's moving the speed of a slow walker. He's tackled very hard. He wants a pin. Put on your big boy boots and keep on going, my dude. You need to get some speed under you. That's a way to end the highlight. Good job, guys. Drop some encouragement. I mean, I'm going to demand more. It's time to get a little bit fierce with these guys. They're playing pretty poor out there. Thanks. Do we have another change? We have one more change that we can make, and I don't know who to change. Who do we take out? Payne's tired. 
We do have the young kid that's on the bench today that can play on that left-hand side, but it would be a big ask for him to come in at this point. Where are we sitting in the league? Can we afford a loss here? It's just we haven't created anything offensively today. The good thing about now having Kim and Gutierrez, they can both move forward. We're making our final change. Okay, so I'm doing a good job saving that one. This is this is disappointing. I mean, Blue Wings, they're not having a bad season. They're sitting right outside that top four. They're probably now sitting in the top four after getting the three points against us today. This has been grim. Not a good performance. Sam pushes it out. Park G Men decides not to go after it and just continue the, the Blue Wings highlight here. Okay. Okay. Get back. Get back. Hey, ho, no song? God, you idiot. Two nil. Yeah, I mean, the back four, someone didn't have a good game. Lee Soon Hawk didn't have a good game. Kim Chance, I mean, nobody. Who had a good match? Kim? Far from pleased with that. That was terrible. Flat out terrible. I, I'm not reading any of that. Kang is out for one or two days. Of course, he's banged up again. He hasn't been able to uh, stay healthy at all this season, which is a bit of a disappointment. So, there we go. I don't know. Well, I didn't want to leave the episode off like we did. Time for the Honda Baker FA Cup quarterfinal and semifinal draw today. See what we got. See if we got any interesting teams. So let's see. Who do we want? Who do we want? We got one team from the second division still in there, and that would be Enyang. So up first, I would really like Seoul. We've been able to beat them a couple of times this year. Jeju, Enyang. Inchin. Those are the teams. Like, I'm good with any of those teams. I don't want Pohang. I don't want John Book. I don't want Ulsane. That's that's the teams that we we struggle with. Jeju up first. Oh, nope. Okay. Pohang is out of the way. All right. Inchin. We're, we're good against Inchin. A rematch of the final of last year's FA Cup. Is it going to be Inchin? Okay. So, guys, really hoping for any Yang. I don't know how to say their name because I don't want to play John Book. I think we could get away with all the same because we have beat him, but I don't want to play John. Okay. Hey, <laughs> fingers crossed. <laughs> we get Ain Yang. I'm, I don't know why I'm so excited about it. It's, it's just because we can move on a little bit easier, I think. There we go. Playing Ainy Ain Yang. I, I don't know. Pretty cool. I mean, I, like, I do like their thing, but I like how they look. They got a pretty good player in this Ghanan player here. He is definitely a physical, physical beast. He's old as dirt. Contract's expiring. I mean, he's not really the kind of guy that I would sign. But I'm not going to get out of that. Okay, so now it is uh, the semifinal draw. So if we get past Annie Yang, we're going to go up against Ian Chen or Soul, which is... Pretty ideal for us, I think. Uh, quarterfinal, though, against Annie Yang should be fun. And then after that, we got Seoul or Inchin. Looking at where we're going to come back. I'm not going to play the Annie Yang match on screen just because I think, I think we should be able to be. Looking at coming back probably around Yulsane, Hyundai, and you, maybe? Or Jeju and John Book. Because John Book is where who's ahead? Is Ulsane or John Book? I think it'll come down to like when we come down to 
if we get to the Ulsan Hyundai match, and they're still sitting in top, sitting second in the league, we'll do that match. That match will be the next one. If we, if if they are, if they're not, it'll be John Book and Jeju. If 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 John Book has jumped Ulsan Hyundai at the time, we'll play the second set of matches, the, the Jeju and John Book. I think that's the best idea. Well, a lot of business was done in this episode. A lot of transfer news. And we've continued our kind of poor run. We're kind of hit or miss right now. Hopefully in the next episode we get that situated. But if you enjoyed this one, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching.